This is the Ballon d'Or, an award only given to the best players. Like Lionel Messi, who's won eight, making him the greatest in history. And I'm Erling Haaland, and I have never won a Ballon d'Or. But today that is going to change, as I'm going to win nine Ballon d'Ors and become the greatest player of all time. Welcome everyone to the 2023 Champions League final between Manchester City and Inter Milan. Manchester City are looking to complete a historic treble which may well see their striker Erling Haaland end up winning the Ballon d'Or. Now we have Rodri on the ball with an absolute screamer and that may be the winner as he puts the ball in the net and gives Manchester City a crucial lead. And that is the final whistle. Manchester City are European champions for the first time. But this historic treble mean Erling Haaland will be recognised as the greatest footballer in the world by winning the Ballon d'Or as they lift that Champions League trophy and crown themselves champions of Europe. A treble to my name, top goal scorer? That Ballon d'Or is mine the winner and now the greatest of all time, Lionel Messi. I cannot believe Messi won it. I did all I could. But now with Messi in the MLS, I will become the greatest of all time and I win the most Ballon d'Ors. It's nice to be in the first team now playing with you. I just want to say it sucks that you couldn't win your first Ballon d'Or, even though you got robbed. You're easily the best player in the world, and surely you will win multiple Ballon d'Ors in your career. Thanks, man. Let's do well this season. Fresh off the back of a controversial Ballon d'Or decision, Erling Haaland and Manchester City are back in action in the Premier League. Will Erling Haaland hit the ground running and push to finally win his first Ballon d'Or? Haaland on the ball, he's one-on-one -on -one with the goalkeeper, great left-footed shot, and that's his first goal of the season. City now pressing once more, Haaland is free in the box, he chips the keeper, what a lovely finish, Erling Haaland is in fine form. Haaland once more on the ball, he carries it into the box, shoots, and what a great finish again, that's the hat-trick for Erling Haaland. Haaland wants more free in the box. Can he go for four? He turns inside. Left foot to strike across goal. Great finish from Haaland. And that is four. Erling Haaland turns the defender. Lovely strike. And that is five goals for Haaland. He is making a statement here. He is showing the world that he deserves the Ballon d'Or. And that's the final whistle as Erling Haaland collects his match ball. Five goals in the first game of the season. Surely great things are ahead for Erling Haaland. Here we go. The new debate has arrived. Mbappe and Haaland have both won a double in their respective leagues and will now face in the UCL final. The winner will not only get in trouble, but very likely win the Ballon d'Or as they are currently favourites. Will Haaland redeem himself for missing out last year, or will Mbappe win his overdue award? This is the second consecutive Champions League final for Manchester City and Erling Haaland. Will this be the match that cements Erling Haaland in place for his first Ballon d'Or as Manchester City go head-to-head -head with Paris Saint-Germain? Manchester City press in, they win the ball in the Paris half and that's a great Ravella from Erling Haaland. 1-0 to City and Erling Haaland is already printing his name on that Ballon d'Or trophy. Erling Haaland threw on goal once more, what can he do? Great shot from Haaland, and that's another fantastic goal. What a finish, Erling Haaland, that's 2-0 to Manchester City. PSG now looking for something to get back into this match, Mbappe takes the ball, shoots, and what a great strike. Kylian Mbappe is making a statement of his own, and telling the world that Haaland will not go unrivaled. Mbappe with lovely feet skips past the City defence, lovely outside of the foot shot and that's a second goal for Mbappe who levels this tie at 2-2. Kylian Mbappe pressing once more, can he get the winner? He takes a shot and that's a tremendous goal! Kylian Mbappe in the dire minutes of extra time has surely handed PSG this European title. As the ref blows the whistle, and that is a Paris Saint-Germain win. Three goals for Mbappe and two for Haaland. As PSG lifts that Champions League trophy, the only question remaining is will this Champions League loss affect Erling Haaland's chance at the Ballon d'Or?
uh, it's time. After a brilliant season from both Mbappe and Haaland, Mbappe took the win in the UCL final. But now the question is who won the Ballon d'Or? And the winner is Erling Haaland. Despite Mbappe winning the treble, Erling wins his first ever Ballon d'Or. See, I told you, man, without Messi and Ronaldo here, you should be winning Ballon d'Ors left and right. <laughs> Thanks, man. Let's have another good season next year. Here. We go. We have a breaking transfer that has just taken place. Mbappe has joined Al Nasser in Saudi Arabia. Here we have Kylian to ask him why he has left for Saudi. I'm done with European football. In 2018, I got robbed of my first Ballon d'Or. And last year, with all respect to Erling, I just beat him for the most goals in Europe. And I also beat him in the UCL final. And he still won the Ballon d'Or. European football is rigged. And I will enjoy my time here in Saudi Arabia. We have made another UCL final! You have carried us to the league and now we just have Bayern in our way to win the UCL. But this time, no Mbappe. No competition in the Europe left for you here. You're winning the Ballon d'Or this year. Maybe you're right, but let's stay focused and win. Ladies and gentlemen, we are back with Manchester City in the European Cup Final. And this is their third year running. However, with Mbappe's shock move to Saudi Arabia, Erling Haaland has been somewhat unrivaled. Will he be able to capitalise today? Manchester City play in, Erling Haaland, great finish. And the unrivaled talent puts the ball in the back of the net. What a great goal. Haaland wants more great control, he brings it down, takes a shot and puts the ball in the net. Erling Haaland, two goals, and this incredible talent seems to be steamrolling his way to the Ballon d'Or with absolutely no opposition. Haaland now looking for this hat-trick, lovely bit of skill, and a brilliant curled finish from Erling Haaland. What a fantastic goal. That's 3-0 to Manchester City, and surely that's game over. Yes, the referee has blown the final whistle. Manchester City are champions of Europe, and with no one else to stand in his way, it's almost a certainty that Erling Haaland will once again win the Ballon d'Or as Manchester City lift the Champions League trophy, showing their continued dominance in European football. Two in a row. Once again, after winning the UCL, uh, Haaland has won the Ballon d'Or by a huge lead. Surely with now Messi and Ronaldo retired and Mbappe in Saudi, Haaland will surely dominate European football. That's two for you, Erling. No need to work as hard anymore. The next Ballon d'Ors are easily yours. Stay focused on doing as minimal work as you can because no matter what, you will win the Ballon d'Or. Yes, sir. Let's make me the greatest of all time. World Cup time. We are close to the 2030 World Cup with one team left to qualify. We do have a playoff final for the final spot and it's going to be Germany versus Haaland's Norway. After missing out on participating in 2026, Erling Haaland has won the last six Ballon d'Or being the top scorer in the world every season. He finally has the chance to go to his first World Cup. All he has to do is beat Germany who are in poor form. We are on the international stage with a World Cup playoff between Norway and Germany. The winner of this match will advance into the World Cup Finals. Can Haaland take Norway to the World Cup Finals? Or will the favourites Germany cement their place? Norway on the attack as the ball is chipped over. Erling Haaland, what a goal! An incredible bicycle kick. What a fantastic finish from Erling Haaland as Norway take an early lead in this game. Haaland lays it off, gets the ball back in the box, right foot across the goal. Erling Haaland puts Norway 2-0 in front against Germany, and it looks like it could be a dream come true for Norway. Germany pressing, looking to get back into this game with Ambit Sion in the box. The youngster puts the ball in the far corner. Great goal from the relatively unknown Ambit Sion as he makes his mark in this game. Sion now carrying the ball forward. Can Norway do anything? What a goal! The youngster has just scored an incredible traveller with his left foot. Ambit Sion is really announcing himself to the world today. Germany now pressing for a winner. Could the dream be over for Norway? And yes, the dream is over as Ambit Sion puts the ball in the net, scores his hat trick in the final minute, and the ref blows the whistle, sending Erling Haaland and Norway back home as Germany advance to the World Cup finals. A twist in 
the tale. Spain has won their second World Cup, however, that isn't the biggest news in this year's tournament. We go back to the playoff final, as Haaland and Norway were looking like favourites to get the final spot. However, an unknown 16-year-old by the name of Ambit Sion made his debut and scored a hat trick. And what preceded was nothing but special, as he carried Germany to the semi-finals, winning the Golden Boot. However, despite not being in the World Cup, Haaland wins his seventh Ballon d'Or in a row, beating Ambit by two votes. This had to do with club season form by winning the UCL Golden Boot and Trophy. Can anyone stop Haaland? Haaland, seven years in a row and still no competition. You're easily going to become the GOAT, and you're not even trying. <laughs> you're right. Just two more Ballon d'Ors. It'll be easy. battle for the ages. Erling Haaland, the best player in the world, finds himself in another UCL final. However, he has Ambit to beat as he has carried Manchester United to the final as well. It seems we have another battle for the Ballon d'Or. Will Ambit finally provide some competition for Haaland? Or will Haaland win his eighth tying Messi's record? The competition has been non-existent. Erling Haaland, winner of seven Ballon d'Ors, plays with Manchester City tonight in the Champions League final in the hopes of equaling Messi's record of eight Ballon d'Ors. Will he be able to put himself up on the same level as Messi? Man City pressing early, it swung over, padded back and great finish from Erling Haaland. Manchester City take the lead and Erling Haaland could be heading towards that eight Ballon d'Or. Man United now with the ball, lovely turn from Ambit Sion, he is now through on goal with a lovely finish from outside the box and that's one all, Ambit Sion says to Erling Haaland, this will be no walk in the park, I am here. The competition is hot enough, Erling Haaland with the ball once more, puts it in the far corner and that is a great finish from Erling Haaland, he has the advantage once more as Manchester City are back in the lead. And Manchester United looking to get straight back into this game. Ambit Sion, great finish. And that is 2-2. Ambit Sion, the runner-up of the Ballon d'Or last year, has just scored the equaliser. And that is it. This match will go to penalties to decide who wins the Champions League and quite possibly to decide who wins the Ballon d'Or. Man City take the first kick and it's a save from the Man United keeper. Manchester United looking to take the advantage and that is a great finish in the top corner. Manchester City now, the pressure is on. They need to score this and Foden buries it in the bottom corner. Great finish. Rashford now for Manchester United. What can he do? Can he pull them back? And that's again rifled into the top corner. Fantastic. Manchester City need a goal and that is put away nice and calmly. Manchester United now looking to take the advantage again. And it's put over the bar that levels up this penalty shootout. Manchester City looking to take the advantage. Lovely chip down the middle. And that's Manchester City with the advantage. What will the response be from United? And it's a goal. It's all square yet again as Erling Haaland steps up. And Becky's that ball into the side netting. Great finish from Erling Haaland. All the pressure is on Ambit Sion as he steps up to take this crucial penalty. If he misses, Manchester City will win the Champions League. And he puts it over the bar. That is a horrific penalty. And Manchester City begin to celebrate. They are the European champions. And Erling Haaland surely is in the hot seat to take his eighth Ballon d'Or. What a fantastic game this was. As Manchester City lift the Champions League trophy. And once again become champions of Europe. He wins it by one. Erling Haaland has won his eighth Ballon d'Or, and he has won it by one singular vote. After a crazy UCL final, Ambit misses his penalty to just miss out on the Ballon d'Or. Now Erling can win one more and become the greatest of all time. Another great season so far, Erling, but job's not done. Quarters in the UCL, I must be Ambit again. It will be light work. I won't even have to give it 100%. The greatest of all time will be me by the end of the season. It is on. Erling Haaland and Manchester City face off against United and Ambit Sion. As Erling Haaland looks to win that record-breaking ninth Ballon d'Or, will this be the game that cements him as the greatest of all time? United putting early pressure on as Ambit turns in the box and puts the ball away. Great finish from Sion, and that's 1-0 to United. Sion with the ball once more, he is clean through. And that's a brilliant finish. 
2-0 to United and the dreams of Erling Haaland and the ninth Ballon d'Or are in tatters. Ambit once more with a lovely roulette. He turns into the box and puts the ball away. That is hat-trick. And that surely is the final nail in the coffin of Erling Haaland's Ballon d'Or dreams this season. The ref blows the whistle as Sion collects his match ball. Major upset. For the first time in eight years, we have a new Ballon d'Or winner. Ambit picks up his first Ballon d'Or to deny Erling to become the GOAT. This was because he won the UCL where he eliminated Erling in the quarterfinals. Has he been taking it too easy? Will he wake up to win his ninth next season? Hey Erling, this kid is ambitious. He's the real deal. You need to step up your game if you want to become the greatest of all time. No chance, Pep. Come on. I've won eight in a row like this. This was just a moment that will happen once. Next year, I'll be called the greatest. Just watch. Deja vu, Erling Haaland finds himself in the playoffs for the World Cup once again. Haaland is nowhere near the Ballon d'Or debate this year. For his ninth, however, if he can send Norway to his first ever World Cup, surely there is a chance he can become the GOAT this season. He has to face France and Mbappe, the man who left Europe, who will be victorious. We are back with more international football and this time it is France taking on Norway for a place in the World Cup through the qualifiers. Will Erling Haaland finally be able to reach the World Cup with Norway or will France and the much forgotten Mbappe be able to stand in his way? France with the early pressure as the ball's whipped in. Mbappe on the volley, what a goal! He may be playing in Saudi Arabia, but it has to be said that there's still something about Kylian Mbappe. What a finish. Mbappe now with the ball, he's one on one. He turns inside, lovely shot into the near post, and Mbappe puts France 2-0 up. He will undoubtedly be happy to be reigning on Erling Haaland's parade. Mbappe now, lovely rainbow flick as he scores his third goal. Kylian Mbappe puts the ball away for his hat-trick and does it in style. And that is the final whistle. France with a 3-0 victory over Norway. Deny Norway yet again a place in the World Cup Finals. Should have never won that Ballon d'Or. Good luck becoming the GOAT now. A three, Pete. Once again, Ambert has won the Ballon d'Or that marks his third in a row. Despite losing in the World Cup final, he won the Golden Boot once again. Haaland wasn't even nominated for his worst finish yet. Ever since Mbappe left for Saudi Arabia, Haaland seems to have tried less and less every year. And now his potential status of being the GOAT is in danger. Don't listen to the media, you're still the best. Shush, man. I don't want to hear from you anymore. Dang, Ambe has won four Ballon d'Ors in a row. Maybe I should stop blending him. Let me just turn it up just a little bit. Not 100% though, because I'm still the best. Let me show him who's boss in the first game of the season today. Over the years, the tides have turned. Ambit Sion has announced himself as one of the greatest players on the planet today. And Erling Haaland has dwindled into near non-existence. Will today be the day that Erling Haaland can turn that table and get himself back in the limelight. Haaland now on the ball, and that's a horrific tackle from Keane. Keane goes right through the back of Haaland, and he looks severely injured. He is in a lot of pain. Keane stands over him, looking at him in disgust, but that was a horrific challenge. And yes, Keane is rightly given a red card and sent from the pitch. Could this challenge be the end of Erling Haaland's career? Hey man, get some rest. You'll be back soon. The dream is dead. Erling has torn his ACL in the first game of the season, with doctors saying this can be the end of his career. One thing is for sure, he will be out for the rest of the season. Will Erling Haaland ever become the GOAT? Man, Ambit's not even good, bro. How has this guy won five Ballon d'Ors? I am way better than this guy.
How did he just win his six? Maybe, maybe I should try harder. Maybe if I can win the World Cup with Norway, I can become the GOAT. After finally having qualified for the World Cup, Erling Haaland and Norway have had a very successful campaign. Today, they face off against Germany in the semi-finals as both Erling Haaland and Ambit Sound look to propel their team to the World Cup final. Germany now as Ambit Sion gets the ball and puts it away early on. Great finish from Ambit and that's 1-0 to Germany. Germany once more with the advantages, Ambit is once again through on goal, great finish, what a goal, and that's 2-0 Germany, once again, Ambit Sion and Germany are reigning on Haaland's parade. Norway are not done yet though, Erling Haaland in the box, great finish from Erling Haaland, he is back, what a fantastic goal, and it's not over yet. Haaland storms forward with the ball, what can he do, he takes a shot and buries the ball in the back of the net. That's 2-2, and Erling Haaland is not done with this game. What a finish. Haaland with the ball once more. Can he get the hat-trick? No, he's taken down in the box. That's a horrific challenge. That takes Erling Haaland out of play from a goal-scoring opportunity. Erling Haaland places the ball. This is a huge moment. Can he put the ball away? And no! He has blazed it into the top row. The game is still level and it's late on as Germany press into the Norway box. It's whipped across and a brilliant volley from Ambit Sion. That's the third goal and that surely will be the winner to send Germany to the World Cup final. And yes, the referee has blown his whistle as Ambit Sion collects the match ball. It's heartbreak for Erling Haaland. It's heartbreak for Norway. But Ambit Sion marches on to the World Cup final. The big question now is has Erling Haaland done enough to win his ninth Ballon d'Or? The greatest of all time. Haaland has done it. Despite Ambit finally winning the World Cup with Germany, Haaland's treble was enough to make him the GOAT. 